What is up, Halo Army? Army? It's your boy Milo. It's your girl here. And what are we doing today, Shorty? Today we're gonna be talking about babies. Talk straight baby talk. Yeah, I feel like this is a topic that we don't really descriptively talk about. I mean, we mention it every now and then. Like, we're just it's God's timing, and we just kind of like leave it out there in the air for people to interpret however they interpret it. But today we want to do like some baby chit chat. We want to give you guys a deeper look on where we stand. Yeah, I basically get this question every day of my life. Yeah. Like every DM, every comment is hey. So when are you getting pregnant? When are you having a baby? Especially since a lot of our friends are pregnant right I now. I was literally just about to say that with more of our friends getting pregnant at the same time, it's kind of like... Now people are like really looking yeah. at us. I mean, it's always been that way, I feel like, since the day we Facts. got together. Because people just love babies. But it's know. cool though. Babies are adorable and what's not to love about babies. We all love babies. Babies are also a lot. Yeah. People have to understand a baby is not just an accessory. It's a life-changing thing that I'm not ready for. I don't think I'll ever be ready for because I don't think you could ever be ready for something like that. There's just so many cons maybe more cons than pros like i don't know hold on guys wait so i know you might be a little bit confused this is actually a prank video i'm about to start being a little negative listing out a bunch of reasons why not to get pregnant kind of want to throw him off guard and get under his skin i'm just really curious to see how he's gonna react milo is in the room right now getting ready for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video the more that i learn the more that i realize it's just not all that it's cracked up to be and yeah i heard it's just very stressful it's especially being first time Extremely parents. It gets stressful. easier and easier. You know, for the most part, it's like, it's a beautiful experience. You it's lose easy for sleep. you to say, but you're not a woman. <laughs> now that's a fact, and I applaud you for that, baby. Like, like you I applaud me for what? I applaud you for being a woman, bro, because I know y'all gotta go through some some crazy y stuff not during. Me. Well, I'm, I'm like, when, whenever you like get pregnant, I know y'all gotta go through like some crazy if. changes with your body. Not when, if. What do you mean, if? Cause not when, it's if. Stop I'm not playing. Me. Stop playing with me. Bro, have y'all seen that girl on TikTok? She literally has a list of a hundreds of reasons why you should not have a baby and why you should not get pregnant. And it's like every con. Yeah, you there's could literally gonna... die. Your teeth could fall out. You could get diabetes. You could freaking you could do your that nipple could fall off. Your nipple can fall off no, it by can't. driving in a car. Bro, it crazy gets... things can happen to your body during pregnancy. Freaking crazy. I know. All the things that could go said, wrong. That's why I said I applaud women. Like you could literally die. Yeah. Just so many bad things could happen to you. But I feel and like what if your child comes out and like your child grows up to be like a horrible person? You know like those kids who like really? grow to kill their parents. So I would be so mad child. if I got pregnant, carried my baby for nine months, went through all of this crazy stuff for my child to come out a psychopath. That has to be like devastating. You wouldn't know. You I'm would be... serious. <laughs> exactly. You wouldn't know. So why you, take that dead. risk? What? There's really kids out there that kill their parents for no yes, reason. Yes, I know. And there's that's scary. There's parents out there that kills their kids. Oh, Baby, why are we talking about this? Come on. I'm just saying there's so many like bad reasons. Like I don't see no good. What? Like, I don't understand. Baby. What? What? What do you mean you don't see no good? What are you talking I mean, about? I mean, yeah, if everything goes right, but there's a lot of things that go bad. So okay, like, but what's the ratio of, of women dying? Like, a high like, percentage. The U.S. has the worst mortality rate what is it i don't know but you can search up the i'll the put it on the screen we can definitely have this it's really bad oh my goodness so it's just a lot of things that women have to go through and then just like even after applaud applaud no one's asking for your applause <laughs> but even after you have the baby you just never know yeah. like that's just what sucks like okay. you don't know how your kid's gonna turn out you don't know like nothing you know what's wrong huh what's wrong oh no i was just listening are you mad no it is what it is. I think you're just like speaking highly on like the cons right now and I I, I Cuz there's a lot of cons. I'm sure you just haven't got to the pro. Um, what's the pros? I don't know. You tell me. Cuz I don't know. You have someone that loves you? Hopefully. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I know I'm gonna love my child unconditionally if I have a child. Yeah, but your child might possibly be yeah. a freaking psychopath. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. That's another con. Like, you know you're gonna love your child unconditionally because you grew it, you birthed it, yeah. and you created it. And but that's the like, joy What if your child comes out and, like, is crazy? I want to launch a business, but what's the point of launching a business because it might fail? Or that's make... completely different. We're talking about a whole human being that could freaking kill you. I don't want to make a lot of money because my kid might grow up spoiled and want everything yeah, given to them. Yeah, that's true. No, it's about how you raise your child, regardless. Yeah, of but there's money. parents out there who have raised their children yeah, perfectly, we're not parents. and they still. We're not those parents. Parents out there who raise their children perfectly, and their children still like became murderers. Somewhere along the line, it was a leading cause. It was something that led up to that. It was. No. Okay. 
It's not true. Okay, baby. You just never know. Okay. I guess. She... I'm just saying it's just scary because you just never know. That's what I'm saying. You'll also never know you would have been the happiest that you could have ever been in your life because you're just like writing it off because of possibilities. Like, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not writing off. I'm just saying that's the possibility. I'm just saying there's a lot of craziness that goes yeah. into being pregnant and having a child and giving birth. I definitely respect your opinion and I think it's valid to your extent. I don't feel like any of that was our necessarily cons. I think we're talking about. Oh, those not cons. What the freak? I understand like the your the changes that you go through like with your body, but right now we're talking about something that's more so in your control. The odds of your that's child. That's not in your control. Bro, if your kid becomes Nature a Nature versus nurture. Bro, no. Okay. You ever heard that? I studied that in psychology. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm just confused. <laughs> Time conversation. I know, and I like it. It's don't giving seem me, like it. It's giving me podcast vibes. We should make a podcast where we talk about stuff I like this. It don't seem like it. You sound like upset. Well, who wants to hear their fiance say, oh, I'm not looking forward to having a kid because they might be a psychopath and kill me. I like, literally did not say those words, bro. You, I, I did not say those exact words. I'm just saying there's a lot of cons to yeah. it, and that could be a possibility. Like, yeah. Free. Yeah, I just typed list. And then that's the first thing that pops up. Is that why you're saying this stuff? You watch this freaking stupid video of this girl This girl has 167 just... reasons. Like, what better thing did she, did she have to do with her life, you know, just write out 107 reasons why women shouldn't get pregnant? Like Reasons not oh, to get pregnant. God, Morning lit. sickness 24-7. Okay, your it hips comes will with be, it. Your hips will be sore for life. Okay, it comes Your with legs it. can swell up the size of two potato sacks. Your kid will have random tantrums. It's life, bro. They poop and you have to change them. <laughs> She's trolling, bro. She's trolling. They will call you ugly. <laughs> they are brutally honest. That's true. Kids are so honest, Kids bro. Kids be They breath. will hurt your feelings. You can push so hard, your eye could pop out. What? You can get paralyzed if the epidural is put in wrong. That's the doctor's fault. That's not your baby. Sometimes your body just don't work with it. And that's why I'm super, super scared because I don't think I can handle the pain of contractions and pushing a baby out of my vagina. So I feel like I would definitely want an epidural, but then I'm terrified to get an epidural because I hear so many horror stories of people who never are able to walk again. Can you imagine giving birth and then you're never able to walk ever again? Like you can't even take care of your baby. We live in a world with billions of people. Bad things are bound to happen. And as soon as one bad thing Thing happens they have to mark it down as a possibility you got to start looking at the eyes like what are the odds of you being paralyzed from an epidural don't let's you? look at them because they're out there you know how when you give birth you can tear all the way to your booty hole yes yeah. what yep. bro i can't like see like that right there that's enough for me to say no mm -mm, definitely not ever would never Imagine if you had to push a baby out of your little hole. I was biologically again. not created. But imagine, but imagine. But I guarantee but imagine, you, if, I guarantee you if a crazy. little wee wee hole was meant to expand to that depth. Well, obviously our vaginas are made to do that too, but some people still tear. Yeah, poor, poor, poor it's crazy, people. Bro. And I feel for them. I've heard more positive stories of one. I heard a lot of bad stories. I heard a lot of horror stories. It's so scary, bro. <clears throat> you mad? Mm. <laughs> you Watch are. out, <laughs> Good girl. See, why do you need? We don't need kids. We have Halo. Baby, stop playing with me. What? Halo don't make me as happy as a kid would. <laughs> How do you know? Because I just know, bro. It's you know, it's your body. You know, ultimately, I guess your choice. You guess. I mean, we're we're building a life together, so I, you know, I would think I would have, you know, but oh. I maybe I'm just you know overstepping my boundary. I don't know. What are you trying to do? All right, well, I guess that's all for today's chit chat about the baby, ba baby, baby. I was just joking, babe. What? <laughs> I was just joking. About what? <laughs> Everything. Shut up. I was joking. You're so serious. You don't no. want to ever have a kid with me. Why would you say that? You know I want to have a baby. You know my one of my biggest dreams is to be a mom. When I first met you, you said you don't know if you'll ever want to have kids. I was literally 18, 19. I, I knew I wanted kids. You wanted to get me pregnant as soon as we got together. <laughs> You know, I always wanted to be a mom, babe. She's trying to- Bro, she's climbing <laughs> up here, bro. Baby, it was a joke. It was literally a prank. I just so wanted to I see your reaction. I wanted to actually do this video, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I just don't see how you would react if I was, like, really negative and said, like, all the bad things and, like, made it seem like I didn't. I want a baby. I don't care. I will go through whatever to have a baby. Uh, like, I feel like having a baby is one of the greatest blessings you can have in your life. Uh -huh. And I know women go through a lot. And every woman says the same thing. It's all worth it. Yeah. Like, no matter what it is. Like, no matter how different your body looks. No matter how much pain you're in. No matter 
what happens is literally yeah. worth it because you literally created like life that's amazing you really think i would be like absolutely not i don't know with you because you're like a freaking google doctor bro like you diagnose everything based off of google and social yeah, media like that same girl could have made a tiktok saying 10 reasons why you have cancer oh because your hair is in a ponytail babe. because your eyes are hazel know, and you'll be like no. oh my god i have cancer shut up i remember seeing that what like so you thought of this video from yes that? you should read off every single reason real quick some of it is funny stuff and some of it is like actual things that can really mm -hmm. happen. Okay, reasons not to get pregnant. A child will burst out through your vagina. Your coochie might rip in two. Your booty hole mates hair. Wake up every two hours. Your boobs will wake you up too. I heard that. Your boobs will inflate and then deflate to look like banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> they will learn how to curse at you. Yeah. They'll work as hard as possible to leave you. Baby equals parasite. It's like literally sucking all your nutrients. This lady's so me. <laughs> <laughs> You can be allergic to pregnancy. I could see that. You will get rashes on your body, morning sickness 24 seven. Your hips will be sore for life. Your legs can swell up the size of two potato sacks. Random tantrums. They poop and you have to change them. They pee and you have to change them. They will have diarrhea and you have to change them. Exploding poop. They will vomit on you multiple times at once. You will not have a social life. You cannot have sex for at least a year. You can get a belly button hernia. I don't think that's true though. No, some people can't depending on like how bad you Yeah, care. if it rips, but I yeah. mean the eye. I know, but you, but you still have to wait, I think. Three months three months like normally one year is crazy if you gotta wait one year bro like that baby that messed you up maybe i, right. I don't know <laughs> no, you're starting to big baby again. big baby that's a big baby belly button hernia both the child and the mother what's a belly button hernia a hernia is like from strain uh not a fat tissue you could get brown marks all over your body your body can get more hairy they will threaten to kill you hormones yeah kids <laughs> they spit on you intentionally and they spit on you unintentionally mm -hmm. they don't sleep when you need to sleep epidurals can go wrong and you can die so you can die from epidural too i would think so bro yeah, do you know from... epidurals have fentanyl in it child care is expensive screaming in the grocery store you lose your abs your hair can fall out your nails can fall out the umbilical cord can get stuck your placenta can get left inside your coochie i've heard of that like the placenta you know that's mm -hmm. The, the, sack, come yeah. too. the doctors leave like parts of it in you does People it get like, infected or yeah like, you can get like you could die from that isn't that freaking crazy that's insane that's scary that's you just gotta have a good doctor Surge, uh, surgery stuff can get left inside you they will throw food at you throw toys at you they will sit on your face and fart they will poke your eyes pull on your earrings ruin your favorite clothes constant fever during pregnancy utis after and during pregnancy constant back pain bleeding gums constipation during and after pregnancy diarrhea during and after pregnancy gas and bloating during during pregnancy, pooping yourself while pregnant, frequent urination, acne breakouts all over the body, hemorrhoids during pregnancy, fatigue, varicose veins, pressure on the hips slash pelvic area, swollen ankles, whole body swells, you have to sign up the kids to school, an extra expense in general, you have to wake up early to be Santa Claus on Christmas, your house will turn into a child care facility, can't take them out to many places, you have to know what shots they need to have, they will call you ugly, they are brutally honest, they sneeze on your face, they cough on your face, they will eat your food and not their own that you spent time preparing. <laughs> because they ask for it irregular periods after birth your nipples get blisters your baby daddy might leave you <laughs> high blood pressure for life can't eat what you want during pregnancy that that's true there's a lot of restrictions yeah, yeah while yeah. you're pregnant that's a fact infections during birth child can get infections gain extreme weight lose extreme weight stretch marks everywhere increase shoe size have you heard of that your feet get bigger your feet get bigger? Yeah. Some people just have to go up a size in shoes. Like, your feet literally grow bigger. Forever, just while you're Sometimes pregnant. it stays permanently. Because I would think it's just, like, inflammation, no, maybe. No, sometimes it stays permanently. Mm. Higher risk of diabetes. They always lose one shoe. They always lose <laughs> one sock. You always have to carry an extra backpack. They get sick. Your coochie changes shape. What? I think I heard that, but I've heard it was, like, a myth. I think there's some form of truth. To it. it hurts when you sit after pregnancy. You have to pack their own lunch when you when you go out to eat. A lot of food on the floor. You have to help them with their confusing new style math homework. You have to carry around a heavy car seat. You need to buy three different types of car seats in their lifetime. They actually like the cold and will make you go outside when it snows. <laughs> you have to know when to size up with diapers. Miscarriages when trying to conceive. They can become bullies. They can get bullied. They will get hurt and leave you with medical bills, broken bones. They can kick your intestines while pregnant. Can get electrocuted. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They will break your favorite things. They will shove tiny things up all their face holes. <laughs> You can poop yourself while giving birth, C-section gone wrong, gain a child, lose a tooth, they will snitch on you. Everyone will know you did the nasty. Oh, that's true. I think about that all the yeah. time. Everybody knows. Oh my God, they have sex? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> at least 10 strangers will be looking at your vagina. Kids can come out looking ugly. <laughs> 
can choke on its own feces while coming out. Your coochie will burn when you pee. They bite. Your booty may go flat. <laughs> Might still get period during pre- What? You can, st you can still get your period during- Pregnancy? I guess so. That's that how people, is that's horrible. How, is that how people get like double pregnant or something? That's one of the main things I'm looking forward to. Like when you get pregnant, you don't have a period. For then again, she months. said you could. I don't think you'll be that could. <laughs> <laughs> Nails get ugly slash dead after pregnancy. Six to eight hundred dollars a month for daycare per child. Husband stitch. You know what the husband stitch is? No, what is that? They'll tell the doctor likes to throw in an extra stitch for them in the woman's to vagina make it to make it tighter. tighter. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. Pyogenic grand. I don't know what that is. Gallstone, gingivitis. Yeast infection, sciatic nerve pain, you can rip your clit, you can go blind, ovarian cyst, chronic dry mouth, chin hair, and a lot of facial hair and body hair. Your nipples could fall off. Odor for weeks that helps baby find you. During labor, if you're pushing right, poop could come out. You can break your tailbone if you push too hard. I literally I, heard that before. I literally seen a girl say that she broke her tailbone. It takes two years for your organs to go back. The all back into to place. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that before too. That's it. Do she have kids? <laughs> <laughs> she probably don't. That was actually pretty entertaining i'm not gonna lie like hearing 135 reasons why you should not it was surprisingly entertaining it's nothing none of this is happening to me so other than the stuff like when the child was here like them biting me and calling me ugly but <laughs> i don't think ugly. my kid will call me ugly i'm like you ugly you ugly especially if we have a son you look like me i'm gonna tell him the cops are gonna come get him because he hurt my feelings <laughs> can we still do this video for another video <laughs> <laughs> yeah we could do it for real i actually want to do it so tell them what time it is it is 4 46 4 46 the morning like the sun is about to be up in like 30 minutes today was a long day yeah it was. Our, our sleep schedule is really bad right now it's just bad i was about to say especially with vlogmas late nights and then i have to wake up super early we almost just missed today Day, bro like we almost didn't even yeah. film this video it's not as bad as last time last time we were like mentally oh no we over were. life at like day eight bro day yeah. eight which is like we were so depressed <laughs> but like we told you guys we everything was the last minute so this time it wasn't but yeah we love you guys bye